hello everyone in this video I'm going to explain histogram estimator and how it works so histogram estimator is actually a known parametric method for density estimation so we are going to learn this concept with the help of example So this, uh, this method actually needs two values, first is origin, second is bin width. Okay. So origin actually from where we are going to start and bin width uh, is uh, simply a range in which we will consider the number of points. And uh, let's consider a data set. So data set is 2, 3, 5, 7. 9, uh, sorry, 4, 6, 8. This is the data set. So, what we are going to do, we are going to plot this data set, and uh, these are the scales. So, let's see 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. So, uh, we will assume here origin 0. So we are going to start from zero. Uh, this value can be anything, okay? And uh, bin width, what will be the bin width? So let's consider phi. Okay, so uh, we will plot a histogram from this data set. So how we are going to do that? Start from zero, okay? Bin width five. So first we will consider this range. Now we will see how many data points are lying in this range. So let me plot this data here so it will be easier to draw 5, 7, 9, 4, 6 and 8 ok so from 0 to 5 how many data points are there so uh, there is one point on uh, this 5 so what we will do we will consider these boundary points in the next bin okay like if there is a point on zero that point will be considered in this bin if there is a point on this boundary this point will be considered in next bin so from zero to five there are three points this one this one and this one so we will plot a bar here and what is the height of the, this bar height is actually the number of points in this bin now, after plotting this one, we will consider the next bin 5 to 10. How many data points are there? So, 5, this one we will consider here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 are there, so this height will be this one. So, this is a very basic example. Uh, here we are having very less number of data points. In actual, we will be having a large data set. So what you need to do, you just need to understand this procedure. So once we plotted this uh, histogram, we are going to find out the probability. So what is the probability of X? Is the number of data points which we are on a representing with XT. XT in the same bin divided by n h. Now, what is the meaning of this line? The the meaning of this numerator is that whatever x for which you want to compute the probability, you have to check how many number of data points are in the same bin of this x. So, for example, let me consider x as 4. I want to find out the probability of 4. So where is 4? 4 is here. So this is the bin you need to consider. So how many data points are there? Okay, there are 1, 2, 3. 3 data points are there. So here you will write 3. N is the total number of data points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and H, what is H? H is bin width. So this will be the 
probability so this is the way we uh, histogram estimator is used to find out the density or we can say probability okay so uh, so uh, in actual this one is not the same that uh, density is actually used for continuous and continuous range but for simplicity i'm using at a, as a probability so histogram actually needs two values origin and bin width original will tell you from where we need to start and bin width is the range which we need to consider to find out the number of data points line okay so this is the formula Let's first check in which bin this x is available and then find out the number of data points in that bin divide it by the number of total number of points and bin so in next uh, video, I'm going to take naive estimator and gamma estimator. Thank you very much for watching.